The U.S. Department of Justice has dropped a bombshell, accusing Tenet Media, a seemingly innocuous media company based in Tennessee, of receiving millions in funding from Russian operatives. This revelation has sent shockwaves through the media industry and beyond. The indictment alleges that this funding was part of a sophisticated scheme to influence the 2024 U.S. election. The implications of such interference are profound, potentially altering the course of American democracy. Tenet Media, which claims to be a platform for independent content creators, has built a reputation for providing a voice to those outside the mainstream media. However, it is now accused of pushing pro-Russian narratives and supporting candidates favorable to the Kremlin. This has raised alarms about the true nature of the content being disseminated. The DOJ's investigation has sent shockwaves through the media landscape, causing a flurry of reactions from journalists, media analysts, and the general public, raising serious concerns about foreign interference in U.S. elections. The integrity of the electoral process is now under scrutiny. At the heart of the scandal is the alleged involvement of two employees from RT, the Kremlin's notorious media arm. These individuals are believed to have played a crucial role in the funding scheme. These individuals are accused of funneling nearly $10 million to Tenet Media through a shell company, a tactic often used to obscure financial trails, obscuring the true source of the funding. This complex web of transactions has made it difficult to trace the origins of the money. The DOJ alleges that this operation was part of a broader effort by the Russian government to manipulate public opinion and interfere with the democratic process. This is not the first time such allegations have surfaced, but the scale and sophistication of this operation are unprecedented. The indictment paints a picture of a carefully orchestrated campaign to deceive both the public and the content creators working with Tenet Media. The extent of the deception has left many questioning the reliability of the information they consume. The DOJ alleges that the company's founders were fully aware of the Russian backing and actively participated in concealing it. This raises serious ethical and legal questions about their conduct. This revelation has raised serious questions about the integrity of Tenet Media's content and the motives of those involved. Content creators associated with the platform are now under scrutiny, and many are distancing themselves from the company. The DOJ's investigation is ongoing, and the full extent of the alleged Russian influence operation remains unclear. As more details emerge, the scope of the investigation may expand. However, the indictment provides a chilling glimpse into the lengths to which foreign actors are willing to go to undermine U.S. democracy. The potential impact on public trust in the electoral process cannot be overstated. This scandal serves as a stark reminder of the importance of media literacy and the need to be vigilant against foreign interference in all its forms. It underscores the necessity for the public to critically evaluate the sources of their information and remain informed about potential biases. The DOJ's indictment has cast a spotlight on several prominent right-wing personalities who have been linked to Tenet Media. Among them are Benny Johnson, Tim Pool, and Dave Rubin, all of whom boast substantial followings on platforms like YouTube. These individuals have vehemently denied any knowledge of the alleged Russian funding, claiming they were kept in the dark about the true nature of Tenet Media's operations. Tim Pool, known for his podcast where he interviews a range of guests, including former President Donald Trump, has maintained that his show is produced independently without any external influence. He has categorically denied receiving any direction or input from Tenet Media regarding the content of his show. Benny Johnson and Dave Rubin have echoed Poole's sentiments, asserting their innocence and claiming they were victims of a carefully orchestrated deception. They have stated that they were led to believe that Tenet Media was a legitimate media organization and were unaware of any fraudulent activities. Despite their claims of ignorance, the association of these right-wing figures with Tenet Media has inevitably tarnished their reputations. The scandal has raised questions about their judgment and their willingness to collaborate with an organization that is now accused of being a front for Russian propaganda. The DOJ's indictment details an elaborate web of deception allegedly spun by Tenet Media to conceal the true source of its funding. This intricate scheme, as outlined in the legal documents, paints a picture of a company deeply entangled in a network of deceit and subterfuge. The company's founders, while operating on U.S. soil, are accused of knowingly accepting Russian money and actively participating in a scheme to mislead the public. 
These allegations suggest a deliberate effort to obscure the origins of their financial backing, raising serious questions about their integrity and intentions. Private messages cited in the indictment allegedly show the founders discussing how to bill the Russians for services rendered, exposing their awareness of the illicit funding. These communications, if authentic, provide a damning insight into the inner workings of tenant media and their willingness to engage in unethical practices. The DOJ alleges that tenant media went to great lengths to fabricate a convincing narrative to hide the Russian connection. This involved creating elaborate stories and false documentation to present a facade of legitimacy to the public and their partners. In one instance, when a social media personality expressed concerns about the source of the funding, they were presented with fabricated information about a supposed backer named Edouard Grigorian. This false identity was part of a broader strategy to mislead and reassure those who might question the legitimacy of the funds. This persona, the DOJ asserts, was entirely fictional created solely to obfuscate the Russian origin of the funds. The creation of such a detailed and convincing false identity underscores the lengths to which Tenet Media was allegedly willing to go to maintain their deception. The indictment highlights the lengths to which Tenet Media allegedly went to manipulate perceptions and maintain the illusion of legitimacy. This included not only creating false identities, but also manipulating data and information to support their fabricated narrative. The company, according to the DOJ, carefully crafted a facade of independence, all the while secretly serving as a mouthpiece for Russian interests. This duality of presenting one image to the public while operating under a completely different agenda is at the heart of the allegations. This alleged deception, if proven in court, represents a brazen attempt to undermine the integrity of U.S. media and influence public discourse through covert means. The potential implications of such actions are far-reaching, affecting not only the media landscape, but also public trust in information sources. The DOJ's investigation seeks to unravel the full extent of this alleged scheme and hold those responsible accountable for their actions. As the case unfolds, it will be crucial to watch how these allegations are addressed and what measures are taken to prevent similar incidents in the future. Section 4. Unveiling the Faces Behind Tenet Media While the DOJ's indictment strategically avoids naming Tenet Media's U.S.-based founders, a trail of breadcrumbs leads to Lauren Chen and Liam Donovan as key figures in this unfolding saga business records and social media accounts paint a clear picture of their involvement, with Donovan's online profiles boldly proclaiming him as the president of Tenet Media. Lauren Chen, a right-wing influencer with a substantial following on YouTube, has been a prominent face associated with Tenet Media. She has contributed to the platform's videos and even penned articles for RT, the Kremlin-controlled media outlet. Her ties to Turning Point USA, a conservative youth organization, have also come under scrutiny, with the organization removing web pages featuring her in light of the allegations. A YouTube video cited in the indictment explicitly refers to Tenet Media as a joint project of Chen and Donovan, further solidifying their alleged connection to the scandal. The couple's alleged involvement has sent shockwaves through their online communities and beyond, leading to swift repercussions. The DOJ's investigation continues to peel back the layers of Tenet Media exposing the individuals allegedly at the helm of this Russian-funded operation. As more information comes to light, the full extent of Chen and Donovan's alleged roles in this scheme will likely become clearer. Section 5. Fallout from the Russian Funding Allegations The DOJ's indictment against Tenet Media has triggered a cascade of repercussions for the company and the individuals associated with it. The legal ramifications are just the beginning as the indictment has opened a Pandora's box of issues that extend far beyond the courtroom. Online platforms already on high alert for foreign interference have taken swift action to distance themselves from the scandal. Social media giants are particularly vigilant given their past experiences with misinformation and foreign meddling in domestic affairs. YouTube, in a decisive move, terminated Tenet Media's channel and other channels linked to Lauren Chen citing their efforts to combat coordinated influence operations. This action reflects YouTube's ongoing commitment to maintaining the integrity of its platform and protecting its users from potentially harmful content. Blaze Media, a conservative outlet founded by Glenn Beck, wasted no time in severing ties with Lauren Chen, who was working as an independent contractor. 
the decision was made to protect Blaze Media's reputation and to distance itself from any potential fallout. They have scrubbed her content, including her show Pseudo Intellectual, from their platform. This move underscores the seriousness with which Blaze Media is treating the allegations and their commitment to maintaining a clean slate.